Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to be continuing the web browsers of Phoenix reviews with a review on Eoli. Eoli is a web browser based on WebKit, which is the same uh, browser engine that Apple uses for Safari browser and is also used for the default Android web browser. We'll be taking a look at the same websites as we did for C-Lion. So first up, we have an HD video on YouTube. You can see that the YouTube page uh, loads and everything is rendered appropriately until you try to play the video, at which time uh, there are some performance issues and also the video uh, renders in incorrect colors. So unfortunately, uh, this will have to get a score of poor. Um, YouTube's not very useful when you can't use it to play videos. Next up, we have GitHub. Again, I kind of randomly chose uh, Classic Cube as the GitHub repository that we're going to take a look at. Okay, so everything loaded pretty quickly. Uh, images are displayed. All the text renders appropriately. Um, these widgets work. The links work, uh, everything looks good. So I'll give this a score of good. Next, we have a Facebook group for PowerPC Linux. If you recall, uh, for Sea Lion, uh, I have a user agent set up for Facebook. So it loads using the lighter mobile rendering. That's not the case for Eoli. Uh, it will render using the full desktop experience. The downside to that is that it is a little bit more clunky because of all of the heavy JavaScript that Facebook uses. However, all of the functionality works appropriately. Uh, things, for the most part, load correctly or render correctly. It's just a little bit clunky, especially the scrolling it's a little bit better when the page fully loads in, but I'm going to give this a fair to good uh, score. Next up, an in-browser game. The in-browser game that we use for these tests is Micropolis, which is the original SimCity uh, open source version. We'll name our city Phoenix City. I'm not going to play this for long, just long enough so we can see the functionality and performance. So we'll start laying some of the zones down, residential, uh, commercial, and industrial. The, uh, the differences between the in-browser version of this game and the desktop version uh, are that the in-browser version doesn't have sound, and some of the interface labels, instead of being icons, are just um, written out words. But otherwise, the gameplay is very similar. I can already tell that uh, this performs very, very well. Um, maybe even a little bit better than Sea Lion. Sea Lion, uh, the performance of this of this game was was great, uh, very playable. There were just a couple of times when I noticed a uh, very short stutter, um, and I'm not noticing that at all with Eoli. Uh, again, performance on both is very good, but Eoli might actually have a little bit of an edge. I'll just place a police station and a fire department. Okay, I'm going to give this a score of good. Next up, we have open desktop services. The first service that we look at is the file synchronization. Using Phoenix Companion, you can set up file synchronization with open desktop. And in a 
folder in your home folder uh, there will be a, a folder that will connect to the open desktop uh, synchronization service so that anything you save or place in that folder uh, will synchronize to the cloud and then you'll be able to access it using this service here so firstly i'm just going to delete these two files and then i'll put them back in just to show the basic usage Okay, and this seems to be performing very well. Uh, the usage works. Um, it loaded in quickly. Everything is very responsive. I'm going to give that a score of good. Next up, we have Open Desktop Maps. It's kind of like something like Google Maps, where it will load a map client and then allow us to zoom in, zoom out, view whatever cities we would like to see. zoom out. So we'll just uh, zoom into Ottawa here. And um, this appears to be working pretty well. I'm able to zoom in, zoom out. Uh, everything loads pretty quickly. I'm able to pan around. Everything seems very responsive. Uh, zoom into London quick. Yeah, everything is uh, everything works really well with this. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a score of good. Next up, just a general website. Uh, it's Foss.com. Just going to make sure that everything with this page uh, renders correctly. All the images load and the performance is good. So everything, everything loaded, it looks like everything is rendered appropriately. Give this a score of good. And next we have Sketchfab. The reason that I have Sketchfab on here is because uh, the website contains an integrated 3D viewer. And so uh, this is on the test just to see if the browser is able to load and use the 3D viewer. So for some reason we see the same error message that we saw in Sea Lion, but as soon as you click your mouse on the 3D object and start moving it around, the error goes away and the 3D viewer works just fine. And with these thumbnail views, uh, 3D viewer works with these as well. Everything feels very responsive. So I'm going to give this a score of good. Next up, we have a music site for royalty-free music. I'll just stream a couple of the songs here. Okay. And then we'll just switch to another song to make sure everything is working appropriately. Just kind of pick one at random. Wonderful. Uh, this seems to work very well. Everything loads quickly. It's very responsive. I'll give this a score of good. And then next, and a little bit more difficult, um, SoundCloud. SoundCloud is a, um, a more complex site. Uh, there's some JavaScript, there's um, some complex rendering. 
Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to load, which I think is reasonable as long as the site functionality works. All right, so it looks like Yoli rendered everything appropriately. Take a bit of a look, and then we'll play a song. All right, and so the song works. Um, it looks like the, the widgets here are working, comments loaded, everything is rendered appropriately. So I'm going to give this a score of good. And then um, just to test the multi-browsing out uh, while the music is still playing, I'm just going to go to the Phoenix website and um, see how it deals with having multiple tabs, uh, media playing through one and browsing in another. One of the interesting things about Ioli is you'll notice that the tab bar is on the left hand side of the window instead of along the top. Like all of this is um, loading in, uh, everything is responsive, everything is rendered correctly. Let's take a look at a couple of screenshots. Yeah, this is um, this is good performance. Okay, so I'm just going to close out of this and the music. Again, this has been Eoli, based on WebKit. Another browser down. Thanks for watching.